Hi, I'm Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I'm calling it, No Discipline Seems Pleasant. No Discipline Seems Pleasant. I'm going to read Hebrew 12, 11 from the NIV, and it says, No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Again, Hebrew 12, 11, NIV. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. We do not like to be corrected. I don't think I'm in any one of like, you know what? I just love being disciplined. I just love being corrected. It's something about being corrected that just can make you feel like awful, make you feel painful, make you feel like sad or mad or whatever. You know, it just, it, I don't know, it just doesn't um, feel, it just doesn't feel good. But as Hebrew 12 and 11 um, says, that it produces a harvest, produce a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. And if you think about, like, think over your life, and it's, I know somewhere somebody has corrected you with something. They, you know, and if you think about it, so you know what, I didn't like that correction, but I look at it now and think back to it, that person was meaning me well they had my best interest in hand like they they just said they didn't want me to you know saying they didn't want me to you know to go go down life making this mistake or thinking that this is the best way to do this and because they 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 cared enough to correct me and it's i mean so many ways so many pe people different types of people that you can come across that you know that could correct you on on many things and that could be from some type of you no know, teacher college professor somebody in the military or you no know, a sergeant a captain that could be you know parents grandparents aunts uncle family members neighbors you know it could be youth pastor pastor it can be you know it's so many people that that have um positions in our life that that are known to correct us and you know it could be some um some judge you know mediator whoever it is and they are they are correcting us or they're dismissed for whatever that you know we we did and oh uh, that we had done and that you know that we needed to be corrected and if you don't correct a, a person let's say if you have a a child and you just let that child just 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 go through life feeling like they, you know, they got it all together, all right. I mean, you just basically set them up for failure because we have to be corrected. So we'll know what's the right thing. What is, you know what I'm saying, what is the, the, the right thing to choose in this situation? You know, based off, you know, last time I was corrected, you know, this this would be, you know, the best avenue. For example, let's say if you have a child that's um that's um in school and, they don't you know like let's say they're in college and they don't they don't go to class and then you don't go to class and then at the end of the semester you got you know a felon grade and you go talk to the professor and the professor say you know but you don't come to class and you since you don't come to class you had to turn in all the assignments and, and you know and i told you by coming to class that's you no know, part of your grade there to no participation been in class and they could tell you that you say, you know what? But I didn't need to come because I already know this. You know, I, I'm, 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 I'm already smart in this area. I, you know, I just will show up and take the test. I don't need to hear all that you have to say. And the professor can say, well, one of my requirements is for you to come to class. You know, other professors may not require you to come to class, but I require you to come to class. And if I require that, you have to abide by my rules. And this semester you're a felon, and if you decide to take this class again and take it up under me you're gonna to have to come to class so the student you know failed a class and decided to take it back over but then they know they when they take it back over they take it with this um this professor and this time around the person the college student 
well, you know, come to class, come to class and and take this and you know and still they 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 do great this time around and then after the semester's over it they realize you know what this professor was teaching me an important lesson that even though i believe that you know all i need to do is take the test and i knew the information but i have to follow rules and the rules for this professor class was you must come to class so learn experience so we we have to go through things and learn we have to learn and accept, but it doesn't feel good and you know can, can you imagine that college student that, that failed had to fail the class and retake the class you know it does that doesn't feel good but in life you know god give us things that we have to do or we should do and we can live life and we just you know just keep going on just down a, 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 the wrong path and then we are you know we get disciplined we get we get corrected and it doesn't feel good. It like I said, it's but it is necessary. So remember, when someone corrects you, and it may be at your job, and you may not like it. You know, like okay, this person doesn't. Um, I, I didn't like that. This person told me. Let's say, um, let's say I'm just picking our job. Let's say you are a person that you um you make cakes and the you you draw a heart on the cake that you um. That you bake, but the owner of the um, the bakery said that you know all hearts must be red unless otherwise you know I'm told to make another color, and you make the 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 heart pink because you know you say well pink hearts can be pink, but the owner said you know all hearts must be red unless otherwise you know they tell you to make it a different um color. And you say, you know what, I'm gonna make this pink. You know, the owner don't know what they're talking about. You know, people like pink hearts or whatever, but and then you make that cake and you put this pink heart when the what you're supposed to have done was to put the red heart because that's what you were told to do by the owner guidelines. Now, you know, now when the owner approach you and tell you, okay, you did not follow the rules. You did not do what I tell you to do that. And I want all hearts to be red because, you know, that way it's it's a neutral color, you know, um, because now this cake that you made a... a a pink um a pink heart on there this cake is for you know this this older gentleman and he did not you know he don't want pink he don't want he pink he's, he's a man he don't want pink on his cake and you know that's why i'm saying otherwise um make it red unless you know unless i tell you different and so what you thought was a good idea making it pink from my standpoint as being a business owner it's not a good idea. Now we got to redo this cake or try to cover cover up this pink heart somehow or you know or whatever you know people do in bakeries. So a lot of times like it wouldn't feel good to be, you know, like okay, someone tell you, okay, I just made a pink heart. What is the big deal? But a lot of times we don't see the things as the person that's correcting. We may not see it the way they see it. They see it. And nothing's wrong with a pink heart, but the person that owned this bakery this is how they want it done and their the reason was they want to keep a red heart neutral for if it's a man or woman that you know only if a person requests a pink heart or a blue heart or a yellow heart or whatever and so that's the kind of stuff that you know say it doesn't feel good but then that same person one day may become you know the owner of that bakery and then they understand that you know understand that concept that concept you know the heart need to be red because if it's pink more people may just you know this may not be for a you know a a woman and this man may not like pink and then you know but if it's someone that come in there tell you what i don't want a red heart i want a blue heart so correction all i'm saying is that you know correction it doesn't feel good in most cases and it's just a part of life and but it helps us grow and become the 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 the, the person that you know that we are or that you know we we should be or need to be so i'm gonna pray Father, I come to you, standing on Hebrew 12 and 11. In your word, it says, No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Father, thank you for disciplining and sending the people in my life and in my path to discipline me and to correct me so that I can become the person that you have designed me to be. Father, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So just so just remember that 
even though a correction being disciplined is um is, is painful most of the time that it's a good thing it's a much needed thing in our life if you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with jesus christ all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and if you have a relationship with jesus christ all you need to do is grow your relationship read your bible read it read it read it read it walk in obedience and pray 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 talk to god as much as you can be the brightest light you can be i'm dr lee thank you for watching let go let god and keep it moving take care